Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. Today we have our HP laptop once again. It's a 14 inch DK1003DX. This was a requested video, so we are going to be playing Fortnite uh, Better Performance versus Best Performance Power Mode. So we do have AMD Athlon Silver, Radeon Graphics. We have 27.5 gigabytes of RAM available at 2400 megahertz. We have a 466 gigabyte SSD. We have a power on hours for the SSD of 45 hours. Here are the read and write speeds of the SSD. And for the first test is better performance. So if you are not familiar with better performance and best performance power mode, all you have to do is click the battery on the lower right corner of your screen and select the power mode. So the default Basically, the middle is better performance. So for the first test, oh, we are going to do some side-by-side, -side, by the way, also. First test, we have 3D resolution set at 50%, um, 1366 by 768. So you're unable to change that because of the laptop resolution. So first test is actually pretty good. RAM usage was about 6.3 gigabytes or 21%. GPU is 38%, 39% out of 2 gigabytes. CPU is 100% the entire time. FPS, you're looking at 80s, 90s, even 100. Uh, it did drop down to uh, high 40s and 50s, you know, in uh, most of the time. If it was me personally, I would probably set my FPS to 60 max. You know, just so it, it would be more consistent. And to kind of help the CPU out because, uh, like I've mentioned this before, this is not really a gaming laptop. You know, if this laptop was stock, um, I don't think it could handle Fortnite at all because even the storage for Fortnite, it's already above 100 gigabytes. Uh, luckily, we have an upgrade, so we have enough storage. You're going to notice like in this example right here, FPS drops to about 40s and 50s. And you're also going to notice some stuttering too. Um, it's because I believe it's because of the CPU bottleneck. Like I said, this is not a gaming laptop. Yeah, you know one of the other laptops when I test it, I'm gonna test it for you guys as stock, and you guys are gonna see how um how frustrating it'll be. <laughs> oh yeah, somebody was asking about boot up time for Fortnite, so it only took 15 seconds for the Fortnite to open up. Um, it might be because of our SSD upgrade, so that could be a reason why. But Fortnite is a huge, huge uh storage. Oh, by the way, here you go. You guys saw that? That was a stutter right there. Major stutter. I believe it's because of the CPU bottleneck. Keep in mind, this is just solo. What would happen if you're playing in squad and there were a lot of uh, players around you? I feel like there would be a lot of um, stuttering. So the next test is best performance power mode. So one major difference you're going to notice is that RAM usage is less. 17% and GPU usage is also less. So 3-4% to less than better performance. It's similar to that other uh, computer that we tested. You know, FPS wise, I feel like it's pretty much kind of the same on average. Sometimes it's uh, about 40, 50s and reaches over 100. CPU 100% all the way. Um, my personal opinion, I don't like it when the CPU is being run at 100% all the time. And keep in mind, the computer is plugged in even. You know, I don't know how long the battery would last if you were going to play Fortnite. Um, if uh, just on battery power because I think you know it would probably drain it pretty quick in my opinion if I had 8 gigabytes of RAM on this laptop I would be running the game plugged in at best performance power mode just so that you know uh, just so that you'd have less RAM usage and less GPU usage you know I do recommend at least 16 gigabytes in my opinion uh, for this laptop but if you're working with 8 um, I would probably set my FPS to 30 FPS max because, you know, it's probably going to be all over the place. And it'll probably struggle. But definitely feel free to try it out and experiment on your own. Oh, yeah. So I forgot to mention that we do have the view distance near. Textures low. Anti-aliasing is off. So here's a side-by-side. 3% -side, difference. So 3% less for best performance compared to better performance. Same with the GPU usage. So GPU usage out of 2 gigabytes, you got a 3% difference as well. CPU is the same. FPS, I know what you're seeing on the screen, they're kind of different, but keep in mind that it depends on the environment and what you're doing. 
So I would say FPS wise, it's kind of the same. You know, it's like upper 40s for both, and then it reaches like sometimes 90s, 100. So, so far, Fortnite's pretty good. Um, you know, I did lose a lot. You know, that's why I was playing solo. I didn't want to let a squad down. So, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Take it easy.